Well, we could get this again from the air around us. If we cool down the air, if we cool it down to very, very low temperatures, we actually end up with, well, liquid air. And I have some liquid air here. And if I just pour this onto, onto the bench here, OK, this is liquid air, very, very cold. OK, but so cooling down the air, I get a mixture of liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen, and I can separate those two out, and then I get some pure oxygen and pure nitrogen. Now, I have two test tubes. Here's one of them, OK, with a balloon on top. Filled up the balloon, so just with normal air, OK, and here's the test tube on the bottom. And I've put one of these, exactly the same as this one, into this... Uh, cold, cold flask here, and we can actually see the liquid air in here. So on the bottom of the tube, there's some liquid air, and that's just, it was just the same as this balloon, but cooling it down turns the gas, the gaseous air, into liquid air. And actually the balloon, look at it, if you look closely, it's beginning to blow itself up. Okay, and this is as the liquid air turns back to the gas air. What I'm going to do, I'm going to swap these two over, put that one there, so that one will continue to blow itself up as the liquid turns back to the gas. And I'm going to put this one into the cold flask here. And so the, this one, the balloon, will gradually shrink down as the air condenses into the liquid. So keep an eye on those, and they'll change during the lecture. Well, we can use this liquid oxygen, once we've made this and separated it from the liquid nitrogen, we can use this as a very, very concentrated supply of oxygen. Now,